uh, he's mostly known for his choral works and transcriptions of choral works for band, but this is actually uh, one of the few pieces that he has actually written originally uh, for the wind band medium. And I'll just read you the, the very short program notes that Eric has, uh, has uh, written in here about this first movement that we're going to perform for you. The legend of the ghost train, a supernatural machine that roars out of the night through forgotten towns and empty canyons, is deeply rooted in American folklore, and it was this spirit I worked to capture. This piece is quite challenging and requires a lot of special effects from uh, many of the instrumentalists involved, so uh, you're really in for a real treat. We hope you enjoy this exhilarating work for wind band Eric Whitaker's Ghost Train.
We have a couple of announcements for you, so it's my pleasure to welcome back out here California High School Band Director, Mr. Doug Norquist. Let's give him a hand. I want to thank uh, Anthony for coming out and spending time with the kids. Uh, it's always uh, inspiring for us uh, band directors to see somebody else work with our kids and uh, see what they can pull out. And, and I know tomorrow I'm going to be a better band director as I'm working with the kids. Of course, we've got to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> so, one more day. But I, I, I hadn't planned on doing this, but I want to invite Mr. Mario to come out to Ben. Uh, he's retiring this year. He made the announcement on Wednesday. And he's been in the district now for almost 25 years. And I've known him for longer than that. He was a band parent of mine when his daughters went through the program at Santa High School. So I just wanted to publicly thank him. Uh, I don't have anything to give him a handshake, but uh, I wanted to, to express our appreciation of uh, the band directors. He's been a, our unofficial uh, study group leader for, for a long time, and uh, the, what he's done for for the band programs in the district. I know that he okayed this purchase of 30 new stands out of the band, band director's uh, account for the auditorium here. And just little things like that, he's always been helping out. So I just wanted to again thank him publicly for all that he has done for us. He's not going far. He's kind of come back as a part-time band director study group. So he's not going to go far, but he's going to be at home a lot more. So I hope. Unfortunately, this is our last piece. <laughs> and this is the last thing I get to conduct with you tonight. <laughs> but don't worry, Facebook is waiting for you in about 10 minutes. So I just, I just want to take this opportunity to thank, uh, thank the band directors uh, of this district and the students here for giving me the opportunity to, uh, to work with this just absolutely wonderful body of students. I've gotten to do uh, honor bands all over the United States uh, now, and I, and I tell you, this has been, for me, one of the most enjoyable experiences. The students here, uh, unlike uh, in some other areas, uh, respond so well. Uh, and they're really just amazing and easy to work with, and they, and they just jump right on in, and they're very passionate and hardworking. They ask a lot of questions because they care about what they do. And uh, that doesn't happen automatically, so this is my opportunity. Let us thank the band directors uh, for their hard work and their preparation. <laughs> but you know what, there's, there's a group of people, whether it be mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, auntie, guardian, uh, that has to get you to all these places. So this is your, plan, your chance to give a standing ovation to the people who make this possible for you. So stand up, and this is your opportunity to applaud them.